know, Dave, here at the CCA Workbench, <laughs> a true professional can burn the I'm fish. I'm telling you, it was, yeah, it was wonderful. It was, it was good. It was delicious. It was good, but you know, the funny delicious. part is, even though I burned the fish, I was even able to say, hey, you know what? Let's look at the hey, half. Hey, look how hot pot. this oil got it so got quick. Hot. And it did get hot. <laughs> I was so busy over there being the chef that that's, I'm not. That's you know my what favorite I mean? part. I burned it up, but anyway, All right. we're having fun. Yes, we are. All right, first off, we're going to start with this R&R &R tackle. Uh, heavy duty outrigger downrigger clip. And these are made by Captain Ray Rocher who runs the Miss Brit down here in Miami. You know, Ray's well-respected captain. He does a lot of great things for our sport and he's an excellent fisherman. And he came up with these new outrigger clips. He also came up with some kite clips I'm gonna show you sometime later. But uh, these are really heavy duty and you don't wanna let the heavy duty throw you off because they're very uh, easily adjusted. And these will work whether you're pulling for blue marlin or even you know the lightest light for sailfish, you know, just don't let the heavy duty uh, you know fool you. The good thing about the heavy duty is, is you can lift 20 pounds of, or 25 pounds probably he said of weight. You know you clip this thing and tighten it down, it'll it'll pull 25 pounds, and which you have is the ability to adjust yes, how heavy you which want. Is, which clip. is important, you know, when you're pulling big teasers or big lures or even a downrigger. If you want to run a downrigger and and you want to run something off a clip off a downrigger. That's, a, that's the one that you want to try to get. You know what I really like about this is that he put the ball and swivel inside, inside. there. Yeah. So on those light days when your halyard is not being pulled so far, your right. angle may be more straight out the back of the boat versus when you're doing a big heavy bait or maybe fishing one a little closer. Look how yeah. now it rotates it's very, it's so very, that you get that straight pull. Right. It's, it's very, just, very smart. Very Raymond. smart thing. Very smart. He's a good fellow. Anyway, r and tackle.com to go check those out all right the next thing we got here is we got some uh, storm live kicking shads and we were just talking about bass fishing and you know these things <laughs> look this at that this is the kicking minnow yeah here. That, that's the kicking minnow and these are the live shads and you know i love any kind of bait with that segmented tail because they really swim really well and i think that fish really respond to that it's and really cool the way it wiggles it does and, and they come they come in a four inch size a three inch size and weights from a seven sixteenths up to a uh, half ounce they even have that quarter ounce one there and you know i got the hologram insert the realistic eyes you know, really good kicking and minnows. They're soft, so when that bass grabs it, it feels it more. It feels natural. like a fish, yeah. And 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 they're not only they're soft, but they're also durable. They're not going to come apart real easy on you, which is kind of hard to do, I imagine. Cool. Trying to make something that soft and still strong. All right, and this is a, a really beautiful bass plug. It's the Mega Bass Pop Max. And what happened, there's a Japanese fellow named Yuki Ito. He's a big bass fisherman, and he carves a, a lure, and then they and then they make the lure off the carving. And what's really cool about this one is if you looked inside there, he's got these little vents inside of his mouth. And when you pop that thing, the water goes into a chamber and, and fills it up and makes it sink. And it also comes out the bottoms yeah, and I makes a big bubble it trail. It comes out of the side. Out yeah. of the sides and the bottom. So you get that thing a pop and it boosh, big burst of bubbles up and it fills that chamber and it'll sink a little. And then when the, as, the, as the chamber empties, he'll rise back up to the surface and poke his head out. Nice. And just a really, really cool, well thought out little bait there. It's nice, fat and thick, um, really cool. Unique sound, comes three and a quarter inches, you know, 20 different colors wow. that's the that's a nice that's a a, a a positive all right next here we have the sea sucker cutting board and the serving tray and this is a really cool thing here well first off dave when sea sucker developed this they developed so we could take our canoes that's, and our yeah. kayaks that's what these are and for, use yeah. them on our rod holders down the gunnel of our bay boat or down the gunnel of our bigger boat right you know? yeah this goes in the rod holder so you're things. able to just hook this up to the bottom of the boat it has the ability to rotate yeah you put these on surfboards or yeah. paddle boards or whatever board and then you can put them along but we they can also them. put it on the bottom of this sea sucker. Uh, I call it a cutting board, cocktail tray, whatever you want. Yeah. And here's what I like about it. It's got the removable Lexan cutting board. Sea sucker gave us a Lexan cutting board. So mm -hmm. once we're done cleaning our fish, we can simply remove this and then we can turn on for the <laughs> cocktail hour. It's disco time. Yeah. And so, you notice it's got the little uh, same slots, you know, if you put your knives in. Right. You know, and, and what happens is, is you, you suck this thing onto the bottom and stick it in the You stick in it in your holder. rocket launcher or your rod holder, wherever yeah. it's convenient for you. And now you can go to either cleaning fish or making a cocktails or a boat. Right. Now, Dave, 
Bennett Auto Supply every week gives us a new product to feature. Correct. We got two cycle oil by Valvoline. Tell me about it. Right. Well, you know this this stuff is is keeps your all your valves and stuff clear and it's good for any of those high revving two cycle engines where you need to mix oil lawn mowers uh, weed eaters all that stuff it's it's and TCW, it's tinted blue tcw3 yep tinted blue so that you can uh tell what you got you know yeah. you don't want to mix up gases and especially after you mix it up so get the bennett auto supply and find you some of that good valvoline absolutely good job guys multi-purpose two cycle and don't forget bennett auto supply has all your needs for your boat Whether not just all that stuff two cycle you may be a marine battery you can get start on fuel treatment there so they can keep you going right brie exactly well